Our coverage this year leading up to the Summer Games for the Special Olympics is a bit different. Every day we have an athlete who's also serving as a co-reporter. So mm -hmm. I have Alex Barnes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're at the um, Roger Carter Creation uh, Recreation Center in Ellicott City, and we're talking about uh, Unified Partners. Good job. When it comes to competitive swimming, this group of athletes dove into unfamiliar waters with enthusiasm, dedication, and a partner. You're kind of just with them as like a friend, kind of, to push them along. That friend is the whole idea behind Unified Partners, athletes with and without intellectual disabilities on the same team. It helps with the athletes, it helps with the families, um, it really helps the athletes to get pumped up and to have peers that work with them. The coaches for Howard County's aquatics program work with 94 athletes starting at age 8. They say bringing these athletes together with their peers is a stroke of genius. The friendships that are formed are amazing. It transforms them from people who just see each other at school to being buddies at, this, uh, at our program and actually competing together at state games. Many of the volunteer athletes are high school and college students who say this experience has helped them in and out of the water. I think Special Olympics and being a unified partner really helped me figure out what I wanted to do. It showed me that I want to work with individuals with disabilities and help them kind of improve their daily lives. My co-reporter knows firsthand how valuable the partnership can be and now he has the chance to ask them what it means to them. What was it about Special Olympics that, uh, that drew you to it? Um, Special Olympics, it's definitely like a really big family. It's a family that hopes to grow. They're always looking for members. In Howard County, Megan Pringle, WBAL TV 11 News.